Hello and welcome back to Generation Zero. I'm your host Survival Joe and we are continuing right where we left off from the previous episode where we actually just started out, found a gun and fought some robots. And the mission for today is to investigate the Ebohoman Church. This is to be supposed to be our first sanctuary and it is also guarded a little bit so combat is always not the best approach. Sometimes being stealthy pays off and saves bullets. Yes, we don't, we have plenty of bullets, so that's not the issue. Oh, there's a one robot, two. My experience tells me that there are three, but I can see only two. Okay. Oh, no, no, nothing there. All right. So this time I'm going to take the stealthy approach. I'm going to circle back and hopefully manage. Oh, we managed to grab someone's attention there, apparently. Jesus, they are so twitchy. All right. So let's go there carefully. Yeah, I can see the dog running over there in the distance. Hopefully it's not because I've interested it so much, but it, see, it has seen a bone and is like going to go chew on some robotic bones or something, or at least piece of steel or metal. I don't care. All right. I'm circling quite outside. Oh, this is a beautiful view. This could be actually the... Screenshot for the today's episode. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at this. Amazing. Right, after taking a photo, sorry for that weird second, there was some time passed and the clouds came over. It's not that my situation has become more grim. It has become more gray though. All right, so the idea is let's sneak into the church and find what we can find. I'm hoping for some supplies, med kits, maybe a weapon or two. So let's see, just carefully sneaking up to the church. I expect these two, three robots should be behind there. Yeah, one, two, I think th I counted now three. Yeah, three, all right. They're scanning the stuff there. Looking for that metallic bone that I was talking about. One, two. It's kind of funny if you think about it. Like, Sweden invested so much in total Verschwaret, which is basically total defense, and now that defense turned against them. I mean, yeah, compelling story, albeit a little bit, you know, almost too familiar. Sounded like, to me, like a little bit of a Terminator stuff, Swedish style. Um, yeah, with bicycles. Did I say that we can ride bicycles in this game? Oh, I'm going to show you. However, at this moment, I would rather much sneak... By the way, this engine, I love the, the looks of this game. This game uses the same engine as The Hunter, Call of the Wild, one of my all-time favorite hunting games, and uh, which makes the environments really amazing. I think the engine is called Apex. See? Bicycles. Told ya. Uh, and uh, which makes this whole experience of going around, sneaking, uh, the environments and everything, they make them so lush and beautiful. It's really amazing. Oh, there's a bag hanging there. So, we managed, we managed to sneak in. That's actually not my panache. I'm not really the sneaker guy. I, you know, prefer to come in quickly and sloppily. Oh, we had got till Stenhaga gold for that murder up. Yeah, we have gone to the Stenhaga farm to meet up with the Andersons. Go there, Johnny. So they went with the Stenhaga farm. Yeah, sorry, I started reading that in Swedish. All right. So, there's the hunter mission. So... Once we actually, this will actually take us here, and that will probably be the next mission. We'll see if we manage to cram it out in here today or something else. Anyway, a note left behind at the Ibohoman Church indicates that might be people and nearby co farm called Stenhaga. Good. Take this. Uh, here are some crafting stations that I don't need right now. Bullet resistant jacket? Oh boy, I'm gonna be crafting the, the, the crap out of that one. Bullet uh, resistant jacket. Windbreaker jacket? No. I have to figure out where was that bullet resistant jacket. Probably somewhere where I'm not seeing it. Oh, apparel crafting. Plus one bullet resistance. Look at that. I'm gonna craft that one. All right, now I look like a regular, like a regular bunda. Right. So now I, 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 all I need, I need an actual cap. Do we have a beanie hat? Layer Bob Brown? No Easter hat. Oh, oh that was that's rich. 
Nope, 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 come on. No, hell no, hell no. Oh, I might sing like that with ABBA. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Bold, probably. All right, yeah, there we go. Nah, I can't do it. Sorry, I need anything. Yeah, Midsommar Kransen, that's nice. So, Ski Beanie, be Beige, I'm gonna work with that one. That works good enough for me. At least it looks realistic. I don't want to be looking like, you know, a peasant or something. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Uh, let's see, I'm... Uh, hold on. I actually forgot to check out the other notes and the rest of the church first, because I believe there is a submission here. I think it's called the Old Betan, which is supposed to be a mission that is issued here if you exit through the back gate, but we came through the front gate. So, timeless vest, blue, hip hop jacket, brown, plus one bullet resistance. Oh, looks much more hip. Okay, good enough. I'm gonna take these. Sorry, by the way, for the little bit slower pacing here, guys. I, I was thinking, uh, if you also like what I'm doing here, do smash that like button, helps me out a great deal. Uh, we will be getting away from the church soon enough. I just want to make sure that I loot everything, and I'm hoping also you like me showing you where everything is. I mean, that's part of the beauty of it, so... Oh, I hear dogs. We should be careful. Storage station. I, I have some actually... Oh, those are from my test playthrough. I have a couple of uh, rifle scopes, compressed air tanks. I may be actually using some of them later on. I didn't know that this actually chest spans through multiple save files. That I didn't know. See? Old bet done. Marcus, if you found this, we've decided to go to Stenhaga and meet with the Andersons. Hopefully I'll meet you there, but we couldn't wait any longer. I left old bet hidden in church where you used to hide when you were young, remember? It's loaded, so be careful. All right, so we are supposed to be finding the old Betan, and the whole Betan, I mean, where I was hiding, of course, when I was hiding, I went to the, you know, church tower, so I'm guessing there should be some there. I'm actually just gonna pick up the 4 to 8 rifle scope and some, um, let's see, what do we do, what do we do? Ah, leave it for now. Right, now. Let's go up and pick up stuff. Find the old Betan in the church. So we're gonna pick up the old Betan upstairs. There you go, come on, come on. Did I get stuck? Okay, so fast travel there and actually that fixed the stuck issue. There we go. So if you get stuck, you can always fast travel, and that's a good way to get unstuck. I would have loved to have an unstuck button. It would move me just by a little bit, though. All right, there we go. There's the old Betan. Oh, and it's a pump-action shotgun. Actually, when I started playing it, it used to be a hunter rifle. I knew you'd remember, you always snuck up here to be as a kid, even when Johnny. Yeah, they're good, great. So I guess we now have the old Betan. Do we see any other dogs? There's one on the road. None on this side. It's a good re reconnaissance place, so let me just quickly see. Okay. Simple first aid kit. I'm gonna use it. And then let's go onwards down good so now we're on the full health because i will be expecting to deal with the doggos remember those are the vicious robots that are attacking us so i figured might as well you know get ready for them and have a little bit you know heart to heart discussion on the subject where is my old betan okay i'm gonna place it in the slot number two thank you Okay, we have a total of 11 buckshot ammo, 12 gauge, 12 gauge pump action shotgun. The best friend of every person, you know, who is surviving the apocalypse. Handgun compensator, that should be probably good for something. Then uh, I want two rifle scopes, a boombox, yes please. An explosive gas tank, 
might will, might do it. Radios, we have enough. Compressed air, just the scopes, I guess. They're close. And one four to eight rifle scope. One one to four. I okay, good. Sorry, I'm rambling. Okay, now let's see. Oh, hello, bit. Boom. Bye bye. Combat perfectionist. Tier one complete. Okay. Clearly, shotgun should be used a little bit more up close and personal. I don't have a lot of ammo. There we go. Now we're talking. Stop shooting me, damn you. Ow. Okay. Okay. Alive. Still. Which you won't be soon enough. Is that all of them? Uh-oh. Clearly. No, they're not. Somewhere else there's a robot. I don't see them. Where's the doggo? Oh, there it is. Don't, oh, oh, I have 10. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Come here. Let's go and play. Here, fetch, boy. Fetch. Sit still so I can shoot you, damn you. There we go. Fortunately, they still haven't learned how to enter the buildings because that would be like, oh, is there another one? Something tells me there's another one over there. I've won a combat, but I'm... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna first be looting this, and since it's away, it didn't see me. Good. See if there's another med pack or something, because I could really use a med pack. So I can get patched up. Come on, give me a med pack, will you? Oh, just the bullets. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're handy, but I could really use a med pack right now. Simple first aid kit. Use the item. Thank you. Alright, that gives me enough panache so that I can actually shoot the damn animal. Or, it's not an animal, it's a robot. Get your heads together, Grumforks. Where is it? It's gone. Huh. All right, you don't say. Tell you what, guys, I think this is actually a good place to leave things be. So thank you very much for watching. The link is in the top right corner. I'll see you in the next one.